So I'm Gail Nathan. I'm the executive director of the Bronx River Arts Center. I've been executive director for a little over 14 years. There's a lot of kids who have had so little exposure to the arts that they don't even know what it is. To get to a point and have young people say, I don't like art, or what's that? That's really scary. We definitely serve a purpose just right off the bat in, in giving youth a place to go to get more art experience. A lot of the kids find themselves coming by themselves because a lot of these kids don't have as much of that home structure, support structure that, that a parent would, you know, be looking for a program for their kid. What we found is a lot of times when the school system is failing these kids and they either get bored or they can't achieve academically in the schools, a lot of times these kids are very creative. And by coming to a program like ours, they can realize that, that there's nothing wrong with them, that there's something wrong out there. When they come here and they achieve, they realize that they can compete and they can go to college and they can earn a living, a good living, and develop a career in a profession, whether it be in the arts or something else. Funding is the big issue. You can't live without the funding, and it's not easy, and, and it's gotten a lot harder in the last five years since the recession. We were heavily balanced in the government side of funding, and a lot of the focus that I've had is to increase our funding from foundations and corporate. We've gotten some substantial funding from some really significant funders. That too doesn't last forever, so you're constantly losing one funder and gaining another, or if you gain one, inevitably you lose one. <laughs> And it's not because you've not done well in your programming or satisfied your funder. It's because the funders, you know, like to fund for a certain period of time and then they want you to be able to be self-sufficient. Nonprofit is a dependent system. Everybody knows that the Bronx is a borough that is definitely multicultural. And many of these are new immigrants with limited or different educations, and they're very poor. In fact, this is the poorest congressional district in the country. Kids from whatever economic strata from New York City are a pretty hip little crowd. They're sharp, they're fast, they're smart, and they definitely lack opportunity. And that creates a divide as they grow older. And that's one of the things that we focus on in terms of equalizing that divide and certainly making available technology, which the majority of these kids still do not have a computer in their home. They might have a smartphone as opposed to a regular phone, and that's at best. Crazy.